Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a BTC session uh, and from the BTC session we can create a function model. So BTC session is always used for you know conversion process or updating of data and this is an example I will do with MM02. Again you can always do this in mass but this is just an example on MM02 and the, using the same example you can do it for any transaction code. Okay. So the first thing is we go to this transaction SHDB. Okay. Once I went to this transaction, I create a new recording. And here I will just put MM02 and we'll just put text. Okay. And the transaction code here is MM02. You don't need to do other things. You just click on start recording. Okay. After that, we have find a particular good material. Okay. And now here we click basic data. And suppose I need to change this description. So I'll change it to suppose five, okay? And I'll save it. The moment I save it, this uh, this thing gets generated, this uh, the script. Now, first thing we have to do is whenever you have BDC subscreen, you just click on the one line and it will say, instead of selecting or do you want to delete all the lines and you click yes, okay? Only for BDC subscreen, very, don't do for BDC cursor or the thing, then you will mess it up. Okay, click yes. Now, what we do here, we only change the description. Okay, so all this field was pre populated, which I don't want to for other data. So, uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll click on negative, I'll click on negative, I'll click on negative, and I'll click on negative. And here, if you see, this is what product 25 it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'll click on save. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is I select this and I'll click on create function model. Before I create a function model, I just want to make sure that I have created a function. Okay, so the function group I'll just create. I created a new session. SCAT is the place where I create function groups. Okay, and here we go to function group here and we just populate. So here I'll put test and I'll put BDC. Okay, this is the function group I want to create and I click create and yes save it does not exist we want here yeah. so I say BBC session I just give a meaningful information okay and I click save and I click again de depending upon your requirement I'm creating local objects ideally you should be using a package okay now I'll click on this and I'll activate it okay the moment I activate this I'm ready now what I'm going to do, I have this BDC function group. What I can do is I go here, I create a function module with the same name. I create the function group already created and I'll put BDC session for MM02. I create this, click on create. Okay, now you see has been created. Now the function module has been created. Now what I'm going to do is I'll click on activate here. And here you can see the function module. If you notice, it has been created with the session exactly what I want. Okay, so if you see, I have put all these details. Now, if I want, if I want, I can just execute. Okay, and I can provide all these parameters that I want. Okay, if you see the description and all those things, you can put all these things. And now uh, here, if you run this, so suppose I want to make sure this really works. If I go into change mode and I click select and I change it to 26 and I'll save it. And here in the back, I go here and I click create process. I'll just process it. And before I go to process mode, I'll just go to the material just to display that what is the current data so that, you know, I'm not making up the data. So here, if you see, it's 25. After this, running the BDC session, which will we can run through the function model also. If you see now, it will do all these things. Okay, and here, you see 26. Uh, now I'll just click this, and that's it. Uh, the 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 thing the material has changed. And now, if you display it, if I go and display the material. Okay, and here you can see 26. So this way you can create a simple function module from here and uh, from the BDC session, which is very useful. 
so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a